Hi there, uh, today is 29th of June 2020 and this is a sell video for this Technics SL7 linear tracking turntable. It's in amazing condition for its age because they were out around 80, 1983 to 1985. They, these Technics turntables were pretty much state of the art in the linear tracking field of turntables. They actually had these cool uh, little cartridges which are a, it's called a T4P system and um, if you're a bit of an audiophile it is effortless to swap out cartridges in it um, and when I say audiophile the cartridge included with it is, is like a standard Technics one. However, you can still get other cartridges which can raise the quality to a very high standard. Uh, these are pretty much sought after because they are all metal base. The whole base is cast, uh, it's a single cast of metal and it weighs a ton. I don't know if I can show you, but... Ugh. Yeah, it is. There's not much plastic about it apart from the lid. And this is fully working, everything working very nicely. I re recently gave it a wee service, cleaned it up, and I re greased all of the tracking mechanism. So it is working a treat. Fully automatic, auto selects record sizes and speed. If you're playing a 12 inch, you can adjust things. There's a switch underneath in, underneath the lid here, so it's pretty easy to switch that. I've always liked the, this little light on the arm that moves along the linear track while it's playing. Uh, one fault with these machines is, well, it was a design fault. Uh, this machine is in perfect condition, but uh, if you open up the lid, you can see there's little catches there which hold the lid down. It doesn't play records properly without the lid down. In fact, I don't think you can play them at all. But in this machine, the catches are fully intact, so you don't need to put um, a library of books on top of it for it to work, which is always handy. And there we are. It's always a wee tip. Just hold this down when you're, when you're raising it or lifting it, opening or closing, because it totally preserves the catches. Now, I'll give you a quick blast of some music. So, that's the, I love these buttons, these light up as well when you touch them. That's the play button. Oops, I think I was too heavy handed with that. So you just push start and it automatically starts. Quick blast just because of copyright. There we are, I'll just move it on to another track. In fact, I'll take it up to the end so that it returns automatically. In fact, I don't know. Let's try this. A bit more. There you are. It automatically selects the size of the records and you can adjust the speeds using that wee switch there. It's also got a switch inside it if you, it's just under the lid here, it's really easy to move. It's uh, if you're playing a 12 inch single or even a 7 inch single that plays at 33, whatever. I think it, I think it takes 10 inch records as well, but you have to select that in there. Okay, so brilliant condition. Good luck.